heart was recording. Oh, of course she runs away. Of course you run away. I was going to put you in the video. Chicken butt. Maybe Gizmo wants to be in the video. Okay. Uh, that's it. Let's do uh, sound check. Sound check. Syncing it up. All right. Um, sound check's done. All that's on. Cats are alive, and I think we're ready to kick this off. Uh, welcome to Barbell Method. My name's Patrick, and today we're talking about the top five standing desk ninja moves. Uh, they're not necessarily something that we can use for self-defense by any means, but we can use them to gain some advantage uh, course, in our mobility right. game while we're getting paid and getting stuff done. So... Uh, Maybe Similar to uh, what we talked about in the last video with the Spider-Man lunch, there are multiple uh, things we can well, do uh, just by having a standing Sound desk. Check. A, Sound it's check. getting you out of the sitting Sound position, which is causing a lot of the um, upper back tension to generate, which is also upper neck tension, which is probably giving you migraines and some other stuff, uh, in addition to reoccurring back and or knee pain, also coming from the prolonged and extended sitting, which is just not healthy or good for people to be doing in general. So we're breaking that cycle with the standing desk. But now that I got it, what do I do? Um, to be honest, there's a ton of stuff you can do, but uh, I'm going to try to focus in on primarily the five that I think are most beneficial that you can apply, and maybe I'll just kind of throw out a brrr of uh, a few other things that you can do if you're really interested. The first one is, and what I was hoping Mia was going to help me with, but uh, she decided to go sit on a box instead of you know, participate in the stream or the video because, well, apparently big girls don't have to have jobs around here. Help out. So we're going to run through the hip flexor stretch with the chair. Uh, there's calf stretching that we can do. Um, we can use yoga blocks for a bunch of different stuff um, from regular step ups to lateral step ups to some glute activation work. Uh, we can also use the handy dandy uh, yoga and work on our standing yoga poses while we're plucking away on the keyboard. And uh, we can also do the overhead circles with the stick, which is something we discussed in the last video that was going to be a bonus that I forgot to give you as a bonus but so we're going to do that so today first we're going to start with the chair participate in the basically the chair or any other thing uh, i unfortunately removed the arms on mine so the hip stretch i get isn't as amazing as it used to be when i had an elevated position to get my foot up on but uh, i can still get it a stretch out of it um, i did that so that i could actually fold my legs while i was sitting in the chair working on uh, editing videos or whatever um, i could externally rotate my hips stabilize my my low back uh, instead of requiring that work to be done by my psoas and hip flexors making them very tight as well as other things so um, i removed them so that i can achieve that position and if that sounds cool to you maybe you should do uh, so we're gonna do but today. ideally, I would I would recommend instead of chair. buying a big fancy chair and then Basically dismantling it. I you know I thought that was the salvation once upon a time, and obviously we know now that standing is better. Ideally, I would even if I was gonna sit, I would I would get a sitting on the floor style desk. Uh, you know, one of the best ways to increase your hip mobility and your um, mobile self is to spend more time on the floor. You know, you'd be shocked how just being on the ground, your body will naturally kind of tell you when to move and how it wants to be and uh you know don't spend hours down there but that's kind of the point you shouldn't be spending hours sitting so the notion that we want this crazy comfortable whatever to encourage that is not necessarily the best decision for our body and our ongoing body maintenance so instead of buying a big fancy chair and then we're going to use the chair by putting our foot up on it to, to achieve a hip flexor stretch right uh, I'm gonna back off here. Ideally, I would even, yeah, if I was gonna sit, I would, I would get a sitting on the floor and style desk. Angle, uh, you know, probably the laterally. I tried to move sure around the camera as a minute ago to give you a different angle as we're working on this, but I didn't have a stand to put it on. But essentially, is to spend more time on the floor. On here, you know, you'd be shocked how just being on the ground, glutes, your body will right? naturally drive my hip kind of tell you when to move and how it wants to be. And I'm getting a huge stretch coming down my soles. But that's kind of the point. 
that. You shouldn't that, be spending uh, hours so sitting. I can work for so two minutes each day. The want other beautiful thing that's happening here is that whatever we're standing to here, even if we're that, sitting, is not this temporarily is inverting the best decision our, for our body reversing and our body blood flow. Well, so inducing blood flow to that extremity. We're going to use the chair right, by putting our foot up on it to achieve a hip flexor stretch. Fresh blood down there that could be cooling up. If we're spending too much time in a seated position. Um, so amazing stretch. We can hit this. And you'll be shocked how quickly a two-minute window goes by or even like a seven to ten-minute window. What's up, Gizmo? He's down here trying to help out. Uh, but you can see how if I had, uh, you know, the arm of the, on, this, on this chair and it was higher and I could get that foot up higher, it would kind of amplify the stretch a little bit. But it's still doable. Still works great. I mean, what I actually end up doing is I got a couple pillows that you see. Like I got that red one. There's a brown one over there. I stack those up. And I put my foot on there and it kind of gives me the same. And it's a little less aggressive too because the, you know, the arm of that chair was kind of hard. So um, I think that's one of the best ones. Top, that's probably my number one. The fact that you can stand up and do your hips while you're working on your computer, reading emails, whatever you're doing, um, that's super beneficial because you're tying it into your daily routine, which is something we want to try to do with all these different things. Like all the things that I may show to you that you may um, be seeking and find through me or someone else that you try out and you're like, man, for me, that was amazing. Make a mental note. That's the thing that you need, right? And then find somewhere in your day or in your average life cycle that that fits in in a non-intrusive, non-invasive way, in an organic, synergistic fashion so that it's not disrupting anything. And we're, we bundle these top, things in, right? So, for example, I'm at work. Hips, what can I be doing? Well, if I was standing, emails, I could be stretching my hip. I could also be stretching my calves. So we would do, for example, daily routine, which is something we want to a yoga block, do, right? With all these different Bring this things, guy down and things that sitting I may show underneath you our standing may, desk, um, which is where I just went to retrieve it. That's why I ducked down, right? So you got your yoga like, block. Man, what we're looking for, me, for here is we're going to try to amazing. get a little bit of internal Make rotation. Make a mental note. That's the thing that you right. need. So, again, right? you said internal and then was find somewhere into the body versus day outside of the body. Average right? life so I'm going to get a little bit of that internal that rotation. Fits in I'm going to get the ball that foot on there. And what I'm going to look to do is try to step so past the block. So that it's not disrupting anything. With my opposite leg. We bundle these things in. Mine's pretty tight. So for example, I'm at work. What can I be doing? Sometimes I... I standing, elevate the floor by putting something underneath my, my heel. I could also be stretching my calves. So um, this is a example, little bit aggressive. I suggest uh, if you have like a little dumbbell right. or something that's uh, maybe like a two inch, start small if you have really tight calves. Um, as you get uh, more loose, this will be better for you. Internal rotation, squeezing our butt. You don't want to be on the block with this closed hip. Right, you want to be on the block with an open hip, right? Squeezing, squeezing the butt cheek and driving that down. So here, closed hip, squeeze my butt. Now I'm open. How far can I go forward with an open hip? Right, if I can get this foot all the way past, that's really good. That's what we're aiming for. But again, we're just working that underneath the desk uh, with a simple yoga block. Using the same yoga block, I'll put it. Uh, between my feet, uh, kind of like this. Dumbbell, right? See, I'll back up more so you can see. So we're going between the feet. And while I'm plucking away, bing, 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 right? I'm using this to just do like a like a, a standing in place march, right? I might be here, drive up. So here, closed hip. It's just actively getting me to go, simulating maybe a small staircase. I'm just moving side to side, working on this, trying to get my whole foot on the yoga block. Then as I drive up, making sure that the drive is coming from my glute muscles and my hip musculature. Right? I'm not rotating back and forth here and then using just the muscles right here above my knee to do all the work. Because that's going to give you some knee pain and make sure your whole foot's on there, drive from the butt. Boom, stick, go back down. The same token, we can just stand here and do uh, just step ups, right? You can step off to one side, cross your legs over. You can do uh, lateral step ups, 
here. Work in this, really work in this other side of our leg. We can simply hang on the block with our whole foot and see how far Hang on the block with our whole foot and then simply just work on activating the glute musculature by taking a small step down, right? And my hip musculature, right? I'm not rotating here. And then I'm just keeping the other foot flexed and I'm lowering down with these muscles until I feel my foot touch the floor. And then I'm driving the butt muscle to stand back up. And I'm focused on my butt and my uh, hip musculature doing all the work there. So you have those two. Then another one we can work on, like if you uh, to have arch supports, for example, you're someone that the doctor's like, Oh uh, yeah, you got arch, you got uh, you got them flat feet, and uh, well, you got to put these things in your shoes for the rest of your life. That's a bunch of crap. Okay, your arches are just weak; they're not strong. How do we get them stronger? I'm about to show you. There's a couple different things that we can do. Two of the best ones uh, is this little squat. I'll show you right after this because it's not technically a part of this top five video, but I'll give it to you just because well. Yeah, make you feel better. I hope I hope you heal, man. Like that's the whole objective here. So the idea is to strengthen the arch of the foot through training, stimulus, just like everything else. The body's super smart. All you have to do is provide the correct stimulus to get the appropriate response. Weak arch, well, here's the stimulus we're looking for, right? We use the yoga block while we're at work making money, right? Oh, yeah, you got arch. And I hang my foot off the edge. Well, you got to put these things in your shoes the rest of your life. That's a bunch of crap, okay? Your arches are just weak. They're not strong. How do we get them stronger? I'm about to show you. There's a couple different things getting, that we can do. Two of the best ones nice and tight uh, is this little squat. I'll show you right after this because it, it's not the, technically a part uh, of this arch of my foot. top five video. But and then I'll give it to you just because well. into my calf. Yeah, right? Make you feel better. That's I, how I, I know. I hope I'm you really heal, man. Like that's the whole objective here. Okay. So and then the idea I'm is to strengthen the arch of the foot through training, stimulus, just like everything else. The body's super smart. All you have to do is provide the correct stimulus to get the appropriate response. Go weak back arch, up, down, here's the stimulus we're up. looking for. I'm right? driving in and out, keeping block. that tension. While we're at work, know you've making gotten money, too far right? and that you're, you're, you're burnt you're out and weak, and you need to take a break, yeah. when well, the heel well, put just like drops you down, like right? right? You'll see it. Crap. You'll just kind of be hanging down yeah. on it like this. Okay, you're not actively driving through. Once you feel yourself kind of hang, the heel sinks down below the top of the block line, and you're just kind of getting lazy with it and hanging on the block, you're done. Right, you're, you've, you've exercised to the max for the day. Like, just let it take a break. Uh, but that right there will help with uh, the flat feet. The other really good one that I show all my peoples is uh, the same concept. You want to try to. You're gonna basically do a calf raise and get as high up on your toes as you can, and you're gonna maintain that. Don't let the heel fall at all. It'll, it'll try to fall as you go down, but you just kind of maintain it. It looks like this. So I'm here. I'm just gonna do. Big calf raise, bang, top of the toes. Stay on the top of the toes. Don't let it fall. Right? Keep top of the toes. And as I'm in the top, squat. Driving through. Once you feel yourself kind of hang, the heel sinks down below the top of the block line. Right? And you can do uh, sets and reps. We can do eccentrics. We can do holds. Uh, but you'll feel that tension uh, that go from like right we'll the big toe and the toes and it'll uh, wrap it'll feet. arch through your the foot really and it'll wrap around, around your heel and up through your calf is, uh, the same that's how that system's supposed to work to right race. the solution isn't to wrap it in a cast for the rest of its life or put it in a splint or like that's the 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 doctor shoals and the the heel uh, the arch supports that's the equivalent of having like a knee brace on forever or an ankle brace, or a wrist brace, or an elbow wrap, or whatever, for the rest of your life. That's absurd. We can fix that. It's not a problem. We've seen massive improvements through several other things that we incorporate to, to help uh, amplify that progress. But there are a few things you can start doing right now. I just showed you two, one of which is part of the top five ninja moves with a standing desk. Uh, the other one is just a bonus, okay? The last thing is the stick rotations. This is the bonus from the last video. That's how that system's supposed to work, right? The solution isn't to use, wrap it in uh, a I got cast a three quarter inch PVC pipe here. Um, like, super cheap. You get any cheap. hardware the, store. The, the um, broomstick, mop stick. 
That's the it all you can use it just about anything. Um, if you yeah, have a band, you could you could kind of hold on to a band or an elbow like, wrap you know, or stretch yourself out. For the rest but of the your idea life. is that absurd. the further the arms that, get, it's not a problem. The easier it is, the closer it gets, the harder it is. You have to make sure you maintain your grip on the stick the entire way around. If you start slipping off, and we see this palm getting exposed. This is your wrist extension or lack thereof coming into play. You must maintain this. A good way to know: Am I do I have a full grip? Open it up. Right there it is. Close your hands. Open. Close. That's your grip. Okay. Don't what? Don't rest it in that that webbing, right, of your thumb. Make sure your palm is holding onto the stick. Um, also, you have to make sure your your arms stay locked out, right? If you're doing this crap as you're going over your head, it's you need to widen your grip. But essentially, it's find a grip, and then you're gonna go up and around. And you're trying to get all the way down. The easier it is, the closer it gets, the harder it is. You have to make sure you maintain your help. grip on the uh, stick the entire way around. If you start slipping and if I can complete right like three to five oh, rotations, the then I, you know, I, I walk my grip in a little bit. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, and I go again. And if I get three to five and it's golden, I walk it in and I walk it in. I keep going until I find a where I'm like, oh, I can't make it. Right? Then you've gone too far. Widen it back up. But basically, as much as you can be doing this, you should be. It's opening up that shoulder socket. It's reestablishing the full range of motion. It's clearing out the blockages. It's loosening up that chest, which synergizes with the top five stretches for uh, gamers and ninja desk warriors, right? Uh, the whole concept. I need to stop. I apologize for that. I realize I'm getting, I'm talking and my mouth's getting dry. I need to probably keep a bottle of water here when I'm doing this. But those are the top five standing desk ninja moves you can do. In addition to the bonus, uh, there are many, many other things. The idea is just that you have the ability now to kind of move about your space. And there's a lot of things you can do. I mean, we can get into yoga poses, right? Get up, clearing out the blockages, actually, think, loosening up that chest. I think this is actually the fifth one. I think we five two. stretches. This is actually the fifth. You know, yoga poses, you desk you warriors, yoga right? poses. Um, I can get uh, into some, some stretching coming off the desk. I that. That's I something I don't necessarily I'm suggest to everybody, depending on the quality of your standing desk. You don't want to put a lot of leverage on it, but. If you have Those something like a wall where you can get your elbow on it, right? We can do something. Ninja moves you can do. In addition yes, to off topic. Bonus. the, you can use that, do that stretch on the desk to some degree, even just there like kind of putting your hands on your desk and walking out. The idea uh, is itself. just that you have the ability to trying to get simulated kind of overhead position. Like if this was the edge of my desk, right? I mean, we can get into, I kind of walk myself back out. The work on getting some stretching there. I mean, there are so many things you can do. I can use the edging of my desk to, to smash my thumb, right? Try to loosen this muscle up. I can come up uh, with my forearm and I can come underneath my desk, pushing up. And I can pull my arm back and forth, try to massage this top muscle here on your forearm, for example. Um, Right, we can do something. Moves, you, can do. you can bring a, a, a lacrosse ball into the mix, mix and put that on top of the desk and See, smash your thumb in you the webbing of your hand on the lacrosse desk. ball. Some Again, because like because we're working on a computer desk. using the mouse and typing, this is going to get real, real tight, especially if you're tying that in with uh, cell phone use and whatever else. That's going to get tight. It's going to chain up to here. It's going to chain up into your shoulder and into your chest. We need to loosen all that stuff up. And we can do that while we're getting paid at our standing desk. Simply by incorporating this stuff into what we're doing. You can take that same lacrosse ball, throw it down on the floor. And for those of you who have the, the weak feet, those people, the flat footers, you'll never be healed again. Guess what? Put that ball on the floor, drive it in and up and back and forth and all around in your arch. Seek out those points of tension, right? Compressing soft tissue should not generate pain. If it does, body maintenance. So find it. It's going to hurt. It's there. Smash it real good. Stretch your, do your calf stretch on the yoga block, right? You can work all this stuff and mitigate a lot of what's causing it simply by transitioning to standing while you work and then sitting when you take a break. 
and then utilizing that same time space to do body maintenance work. Like, it's brilliant. It's quadruple million folded, right? There's so many benefits happening by making that synergy. And in general, that's how you should pursue most things in your life. Any opportunity you get to synergize two opposing beliefs or two polarities of thought of, or whatever within yourself, those points it's going to make you a stronger person soft tissue should not and it's going to make you more efficient more productive right so we should be seeking out the the uh blending of a polarities in our life all the time so this is one of them and uh my name is patrick i'm the one that guided you through it welcome and goodbye while you this is barbell method when you take a break and then utilizing that same time space to do body maintenance work. Like, it's brilliant. It's quadruple million folded, right? There's so many benefits happening by taking that synergy.